I want to talk to you about the center, your center, your purpose. One question that I always ask myself, even if I would always ask myself, is your purpose. What's your purpose for living? Do you know your purpose? What you're created to do? Do you know what that is? A lot of people live their entire lives not knowing entire lifetime not being happy because they feel as though they're not fulfilling their purpose. One time in my life I felt that. What was my purpose? And sometimes you graduate out of high school, you look for that job, you look for that career, college, the degree, you still question, is this my purpose? Well, I want to tell you, until you find the center of your being, you will continue to walk and live. Going through the motions. And how many people out there right now go through the motions? You may be making $50,000 a year, $100,000 a year, $200,000, million dollars a year. You may be making $10,000 a year and not happy, going through the motions. Meaning, you go to job, you go to your work, you're not happy. Come home, you're angry with your parents, angry with your wife, angry with your kids, angry with yourself, not happy. Can't have a good time around your friends because your mind is wondering, you know, what is my purpose? What is my purpose? Especially for men because life is very, very challenging for a man. They expect us to be leaders. And when I say they, I'm talking about God created a man for to be a leader to be a fighter, to set examples uh, in his home, in his house, for his wife, for his kids, for other men around him that look up to him. And how can you do that if you don't know what your true purpose is or if you're not happy with yourself and your position and where you're at? So let's take money out of this equation. Let's start talking about the purpose, the purpose and how you're gonna find your purpose. One piece of advice that I can give to you to find your purpose is to spend time with yourself. Spend time away from distractions, away from people who distract you, who take your time away from you. Now, when you talk about taking time away from you, I'm talking about taking time away from the things that you may enjoy. You may used to write, and you don't do it anymore. You may used to sing, you don't do it anymore. You may used to read books, and you don't do it anymore. You may, whatever your hobby is, you know, try to get that back into your life. That's one part of your purpose because you have this gift that you're not exercising, that you used to exercise, and you decided not to do that. That's one way of getting back into the groove of who you are and what you're created to do. Second thing is, the more time you spend alone with yourself, the more time that you will be able to understand who you are. When I mean understand who you are, I'm talking about without any outside interference, without any friends, without any uh, peer pressure of wanting to be like someone else. The more time you spend alone, you're going to figure out, okay, what your purpose is. And I say that because of this. God will talk to you. Uh, you start seeking in those moments of not having any outside distractions. What happens is 
things become clear. Clarity sets in. And you're able to make decisions not based on what you saw that day or what you heard that day or what that person may have said to you. You're able to make decisions based on how you feel internally. Okay? So number one, we have time alone. Number two, spending time alone will clear your subconscious mind up so you can make your own decisions based on how you feel. Okay? So that's number two. Third thing is uh, going without. Okay? I want to say going without. That means uh, there's times where you can go without your friends. You can go without going out. You can go without uh, uh, other people around you. Okay? Going without eating, going without this, going without that. There's a thing in the Bible that says, you know, when you fast, you fast for a purpose. You fast because things become clear in your life. And this is so true. Whenever I go on a diet for bodybuilding uh, 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 and start eating strict, I start seeing things a lot clearer. I start, uh, my decisions are clear. I can hear things a lot clearer in my life directions and certain things that God wants me to do it becomes clear to me because I've restricted myself from having a full stomach from eating uh, 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 carbs and sugars and all these things and overeating when you don't overeat and you don't overindulge in something and you start cutting back and you become on a strict diet over a period of time repeatedly doing eating 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 less eating strict what happens is you're almost getting into this fast mode you know what the bible says about fasting things become clear to you so nutrition is very very important with things becoming clear uh spending time alone is very very important uh getting on your routine to do things that you enjoy is very, very important. All these things will put you on track of find who you are and your purpose. And when you seek God in the middle of doing all these things, he will begin to form your life. He will begin to set you on that path of your destiny. Your purpose and your your visions and these things will become clear to you. So what you do is you have to make that start. You have to separate yourself from the pack. You have to be willing to spend time with yourself. You have to be willing to, uh, to, to start cutting things out of your nutritional program. Eat healthy. You know, get enough rest. Get enough sleep. All of these things come into play of finding your, your purpose. And it's almost sacrificing. You have to sacrifice. Greater the sacrifice, greater the reward. This is so true. And when you, when you do these things, you'll start seeing that, okay, well, I used to do this. And when you go out and you don't do it anymore, it's very, very clear that you've made the right decision. Because your friends will still be doing that. And you'll find yourself that you don't fit in with that crowd anymore. You just don't fit in. Ah, nah, I got something to do. You know, you'll start getting away from people that are negative. You only want to be around positive. You'll start, like, not wasting your time on things that aren't productive. And you will start uh, taking your time and energy and putting it in, into things that you enjoy doing that are productive for yourself. So once you find yourself, you will find your creativity and you'll find the true purpose and what God created you to do. But first, you have to be willing to go through these sacrifices and these steps that I told you. Spend time alone. Do things that you're used to doing. Separate yourself. Go on a nutritional program. Eliminate the fat out of your diet. All of these things. Be willing to sacrifice and things will come clear to you. Um, without going deeper, deeper, deeper and everything, this is just the uh, first video of three uh, steps that you can take to where get you on track uh, to where you will begin to start to uh, develop and find out your true purpose and the gifts that God 
has in store for you. Uh, I would encourage you to continue to pray at night if you're not doing it now. Uh, give God thanks in the morning. Give God thanks through the day. And surround yourself with good, positive people. Because this is also very, very, very important. Good, positive people. People who are genuine at heart. Has nothing to do with money. Has everything to do with the quality of that person's heart. Search yourself and match yourself up with someone who is good quality. And eventually, you know what? God will remove the ones that you fit in, that you don't fit in with. But God will remove the ones that, that uh, you say, you know, I'm not friends with that person no more. It won't even bother you. And then God will start positioning people in your life for your greater purpose. And that's it. Uh, and over a period of time, you become humble. You become willing to you become hear this voice. You know, when God starts, starts, uh, you know, sending you these little signal. And I knew that was from God. I knew that was from God. So things have become clear to you, you know. And um, this is just what I want to say because I care about you guys. There's so many uh, people out there who don't know their purpose and they want to be like other people. So you were born special. You were born with a gift. You were born with being able to bring your own unique abilities and gift to this world. And you have so much more to offer. So guys, I just encourage you to find it, trust and believe in yourself and uh, never quit and never give up. And at the end of the day, know that there's something greater. God has a greater purpose for your life than you just going through the motions, all right? So God bless you guys, I love you. This is Kevin Laverne and I look forward to seeing you. Uh, again and talking to you like i said this is only one of three segments on finding your purpose god bless you and good night peace